Kasana is taking us to a hive he recently discovered. Like most things in nature, it's not placed for our convenience. It's more than 25 right feet up a tree. Right there. And you know, this is a dead palm tree. And I can just barely see the swarm of bees flying into a hole. We have to be on our guard. The moment the bees sense that the hive is under threat, they'll attack. Smoke helps to subdue them. So before we do anything, a fire has to be started. Everything here is bone dry, and the tinder catches first time. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We've got a fire. Protective measures in place. We can start to chop the tree down, but it's not going to come easily. Once the tree's fallen, all that stands between us and the honey is a swarm of angry African bees. When a bee stings, it releases an alarm pheromone. When other bees detect this, they go into a defensive frenzy. But they're stinging me. The others are getting stung as much as me, but they aren't showing any reaction to the pain. Away from the angry bees, I finally get to taste the honey. Oh my god. Never has honey ever tasted this amazing. Especially considering I've been on a diet of only milk and blood. This is like... With, with every bite, it feels like... Like the sugar's just penetrating the cells as if my body has been so needing this. Returning to the village with our bounty is a happy occasion. Everybody has just found their peace and they're running off with it so they can enjoy it all to themselves. 